Yo, what's good gamers? It is Roll Easy here and I'm back today with a solo money glitch. Now, this is what you guys have been wanting. You've had enough days with those two player glitches which are still freaking awesome. But I know some of you guys got, you know, maybe some issues where you can't talk to people or, you know, you don't have enough friends online. Don't worry, I've been there, I've done that. And I'm here to help you all out. So we can hit that solo money glitch, all right? So big shout out to Apocalypse for coming up with this, for the original glitch and for this little workaround. And a bunch of people also helped out with this to figure this out. So thank you to everybody that was a part of this. Let's go over the requirements. So you're going to need... An MOC out on the map, I recommend doing it down here at the docks so that you aren't bothered by anybody. Just go to the bottom of the map, you know, nobody bothers you because you do have to be in a public session. That's a big deal. You have to be in a public session. I don't recommend doing dupe glitches in a public session, but it's the only way to hit this glitch. So you want to make sure to be in a public session, you need your MOC out and you want to have a Fagio or an RH8 in there. I recommend Fagio so you can use your MC menu to just go ahead and request them so you don't have to keep using your mechanic every time. So you need all that stuff. I recommend being in a public session with at least 20 people and you need to be a little lucky, not gonna lie. Okay, so let's get started with the glitch. So what you're gonna do is call up your Fagio, your MOC. Right now I'm putting my Fagio in my, in my MOC. I'm gonna hop back on and I'm gonna hold the right trigger. That's R2 for PlayStation, so I'm just holding it. Now, that's what gets you glitched out. Now it's not like the RH8 where it just keeps driving. This doesn't keep driving, it just chills like that. So get off, go ahead and don't get hit by a car like I did trying to roll and be cool and shit. Go ahead and blow it up. Now, once we blow it up, we're gonna go ahead and get in our phone, go to the contacts, and we're gonna call up our mechanic, and we're gonna call up the car that we wanna dupe. Once again, you wanna dupe Benny's vehicles. Retro Customs do sell for the most. They sell it for almost a million dollars. And uh, I should have mentioned in the beginning of the video, you do not need custom plates for this. It transfers the plate from the Fagu or the RH8 every single time. So, at this moment, I'm calling Lester real quick to remove my wanted level so the cops don't fuck with me because they just fuck everything up. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my car. Here is the retro that we will be duplicating in this video. And I have a custom plate on there. I just wanted to show you so you can see that the plate does indeed transfer. So I'm going to go ahead and hit right D-pad right now. And But first, oh, first I'm going to call up Moore's Mutual. Don't forget this. And you got to actually make a claim for that vehicle that I just destroyed. So check this out, Mobile Operations Center, Fagio, go ahead and press A on that, or X on PlayStation, and then as soon as I can, press right D-pad, and then A to accept that. Now I'm going to hold right trigger R2 right now, and you saw that right before the uh, animation finishes, spam the pause about four times, alright, just spam it, alright, that's all you got to do, hold the right trigger, hold the gas, and spam pause. Now you're going to see this happen, you'll get into a loading screen, but check this out, you go back into here, and now all of a sudden I'm all weirdly glitched out, open up your interaction menu and kill yourself. You'll see this little, you know, cutscene where you're in your car and you're wasted. That's good, you want to see that. Now I'm going to go ahead and run back and you duplicate your MOC, so 2 in 1 glitch with this, you got dupe MOCs, if only we can actually sell them, but no, it's just like a visual glitch, you can't really do anything with that. So. Right now, I'm going ahead and running back to my car right here and check this shit out. So I'm going to hop in and look at the plate. That is a different plate. It's a brand new generic plate, the one that was on the Fagio. So this is a duplicate right here. Glitch done, except you got to save the car first. And you're going to go ahead and drive it in, in and out, and that's going to save it. But you guys know me. I go in and out twice because I like to be sure. So I'm going to drive it out again and back in just to make sure it saves because i like to be safe with this shit i don't like to do shit twice because i didn't take 30 seconds out of my day to just be sure so like i said here we go we're parking it in once again and now i got no fucking doubt that it has saved so what we're gonna do now and uh so you can notice i'm a bit chipper it's sunday i like sundays sundays are fun so Sunday fun day. Anyways, so what we're gonna do is now I'm starting up another glitch and I wanted to show you guys this clip. Well, it's not another glitch. It's the same glitch, but another attempt. I wanted to show you guys this one because this is what happens in a public session, man. This is why I don't like fucking glitches in a public session because people fuck with you. So, God. <laughs> so you're gonna see right here on this attempt, I do successfully hit the glitch, but an asshole tries to get in my way and tries to just, you know, ruin my day here. And I don't like that. 
So I got my Fagio. I had my dupe in there. This is how you just rinse and repeat. You want to make sure you're in a big public session like this. Now, go ahead and press right D-pad, and I'm just storing it in there right now. You know, you want to have your Fagio in there. Uh, this is the best way to hit this glitch. I'll explain at the end of the video the other little ways to do it, but go ahead and hop on the Fagio, hold right trigger or R2, hold it until you go outside, and just let go of it once you're out here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and blow it up. And you see on the map that guy with the bounty? He's actually here at the docks. Yeah, keep an eye on him. He's going to be on his way real soon. And I was looking at him, so I'm just calling Lester real quick to get the cops off me. I don't even know if it works. Does it work right here? No, it doesn't even, it doesn't let me because I think I just did that, you know, really, uh, really recently. So I'm going to call my mechanic while I'm here and I notice he's starting to come towards me. So I'm going to go ahead and just call my mechanic and I'm going to request my retro that I want. Oh, but look at that. I have 20 seconds before I can request it again. That's the problem with the mechanic bullshit is that you got to wait. So I'm over here, you know, hopefully I can request it. Hopefully I can, but I start noticing, yep, he's coming. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna get a gun. I could have just thrown a C4 at him, but I like to, you know, kill people with a bit of finesse. So I'm just scrolling through, scrolling through, and look, he just parks right up on me. So I get my little Tommy gun or whatever this thing is, and I blow his head off. G2 Ron, sorry dude, but I'm recording a video, man, and you got in my way. That's what happens. And I got a bounty, thousand bucks, thanks. So, at this moment, I'm gonna go ahead and call my mechanic again, and I know that I'll be able to actually get my retro, but uh, but yeah, because that timer did run out. But let's see if the Lester thing works, because yeah, I had just done it previously, just like the mechanic, but let me see. Okay, yeah, it did work, so remove my wanted level. Now the cops aren't going to fuck with me. You see, that's the worst part about public sessions. You got cops and NPCs and, you know, and people that can just screw with the glitch. I hate public sessions for glitches, man. It's just, it's bullshit. So I'm going to call my mechanic now, and now I can get my retro custom. And he knows not to fuck with me anymore. He's, uh, he's learned his lesson. Just don't come near me. And uh, yeah, so I'm getting my retro out. Remember, we've already blown up the Fagio, and now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my retro. This is the original that I was duplicating before. You see, it has that plate. Look at that, GT Ron just drives by. He was like, he's not wanting any more. All right, that's it. He doesn't want any of this. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and get in position. Now I'm gonna call Moore's Mutual, and I'm gonna make a claim for that Fagio that I destroyed. So once I get them on the phone, because they take forever sometimes, and I'm going to go ahead and rec or make a claim for that, press right D-pad, accept that, hold right trigger, hold the gas, and then spam pause a few times. Spam it like four times, that's what I do. You'll see the MOC go crazy, glitchy, you'll go into a little cutscene, and then look at that. I end up right there, go ahead and kill yourself. So I killed myself, and same result as before, that's it, the car's duped. You run over to it, you drive it back in twice, and you save it. That's the glitch, guys. That's what you do. You have to be in a public session. Here, I'm going to go over all the tips and things and the things you really need to know right now. I just wanted to show you two run-throughs of the glitch, one where it went perfect, one where somebody got in my way, and I still hit it. So uh, you're going to see right here, once I get into the car, it's going to be a different plate than the one that I had before. Remember, I had a custom plate on. Now I'm going to have a different generic plate. That's from the other Fagio. So check it out. See that? That's a new plate. This is a new duplicate. Go ahead and drive it in and out and save it. All right, so here are the things you need to know. Yes, you do need to be in a public session. Invite-only sessions do not work. The only way to get glitched out is to be around other people, I guess. Other people need to be in the same session as you, or the MOCs and the vehicles don't really glitch out whatsoever. You'll just end up driving your retro or whatever car you're duplicating directly into your MOC. So yeah, you got to be in a public session. I recommend being in a session with at least 20 people or more because uh, you do need to be lucky sometimes. When somebody leaves the session, that can get you unglitched. So I'm going to go over what you can do if you get caught in, in an infinite black loading screen. You see that whole method where we hold right trigger right after the animation and then we go ahead and spam pause. That's what gets us out of the loading screen so we're not stuck in there the whole time. That's what gets us into that little weird animation frozen screen and we open up the, the interaction menu and we kill ourselves. That's how to get out of it quick and then you got the dupe. Now, there is another method where uh, I heard if you join a friend in a different targeting mode and then uh, you accept the first alert, decline the second alert, then press Y and then open up your phone and accept the heist invite and then you end up at your heist apartment and you back out of it, then you go outside and you have the car right there and that's the dupe so you just go to your MOC and drive it in. I tried that, didn't work for me. Every time I accepted the first alert, declined the second alert, I was just stuck on that, you know, frozen animation screen. I couldn't open up my interaction menu to kill myself. I was just frozen. 
So I don't recommend doing that because it didn't work for me on many, many attempts. This is the only method that works and it worked for me every single time. So that's what I'm going to recommend to you guys. I'm on Xbox, by the way. I don't know if anything is different about PlayStation, but this method worked for me 100%. Now, there is another method that I know will work, but you, it does require you to wait. So if you do get stuck on the black loading screen, maybe you forgot to press pause or the right trigger, you know, and you're stuck on that black loading screen, just wait. If you were in a public session with 20 or more people, if somebody leaves the session, you will get kicked out of that infinite black loading screen and you should end up at that animation frozen screen and that'll allow you to open up your interaction menu and kill yourself and proceed with the glitch as you saw in the video. So you do have a few options there. So once again, uh, once you once you drive in with your retro and you accept the transfer garage alert, right away you hold right trigger or R2, depending on what console you're on, and then you go ahead and spam pause a few times, you know, just spam the start button like four times. And that'll get you in the frozen animation screen where the MOC is glitching out. And then all you got to do is, you know, you, you, you guys know what to do. You saw it. All you got to do is kill yourself. That's it. Open up your interaction menu and kill yourself. And then you'll spawn with the dupe. That's it. Don't mind this. My controller just unplugged. I got that new play and charge kit for Xbox. So I had to get that uh, that charging cable. But uh, yeah, and then the other one, if you do get caught in the black loading screen, just wait it out. Wait it out, and if somebody leaves the session, that'll kick you out of there. You can, you'll can, you be in the frozen animation screen, open up interaction menu, and kill yourself. Simple as that, guys. But uh, yeah, so I hope I explained everything well. Put, a, put your questions out in the comments. I know plenty of you are going to have some. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys learned something. Road to 1,000 subscribers. We're already at 700. Let's keep it up. Uh, don't forget to hit that blue button to like it. Uh, subscribe if you're new by hitting that big red button. And then turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, guys.